we know how to calculate the total energy and average power of a continuous time signal in this lecture i will explain how to calculate the total energy and average power of discrete time signals and using the values of total energy and average power we will decide whether this signal is power signal or energy signal the first signal is xn which is equal to ramp n the second signal is yn which is equal to a we will first calculate the total energy and average power of signal xn signal xn is the basic unit ramp sequence and it is equal to 0 when n is less than 0 and it is equal to n when n is greater than equal to 0 now I will plot the waveform of signal xn xn which is basic unit ramp sequence when n is equal to 0 xn is also equal to 0 when n is equal to 1 xn is equal to 1 when n is equal to 2 xn is also equal to 2 when n is equal to 3 xn is also equal to 3 in the same way when n is equal to n xn is also equal to n you can see there is formation of ramp if we join these points I will first calculate the average power P of signal xn. The average power P in case of discrete time signals is equal to limit uppercase n approaching to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 summation n equal to minus n to plus n mod xn square this is the formula for average power in case of discrete time signals let's try to calculate the average power using this formula limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 from this definition you can see xn is equal to 0 from minus n to 0 so inside the bracket summation small n equal to minus n to 0 mod xn square is equal to 0 plus summation small n equal to 0 to n xn is equal to n therefore mod xn square is equal to n square summation of 0 from minus n to 0 is equal to 0 therefore we have limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 summation n equal to 0 to capital N n square sum of n square from n equal to 0 to capital N is equal to n n plus 1 2n plus 1 divided by 6 because sum of the squares of first n natural numbers is equal to n n plus 1 2n plus 1 by 6 so the average power p the average power p is equal to limit n tends to infinity n n plus 1 2n plus 1 divided by 6 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 1 will cancel out therefore average power is equal to limit n tends to infinity n n plus 1 divided by 6 n is tending to infinity therefore we have infinity by 6 or we can say infinity so the average power p is equal to infinity for the signal xn now we will calculate the total energy e the total energy e is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity mod xn square this is the formula of total energy in case of discrete time signals from minus infinity to 0 xn is equal to 0 therefore we have summation n equal to minus infinity to 0 xn is equal to 0 so 0 square is equal to 0 plus summation n equal to 0 to infinity 
xn is equal to n therefore mod xn square is equal to n square summation of 0 from minus infinity to 0 is equal to 0 so we have summation n equal to 0 to infinity n square when n is equal to 0 n square is equal to 0 when n is equal to 1 n square is equal to 1 when n is equal to 2 n square is equal to 4 and when n is equal to infinity n square is also equal to infinity so the summation is infinity and the total energy the total energy E is equal to infinity so signal xn signal xn is neither energy signal nor it is power signal because it is not satisfying the conditions of energy and power signals now we will solve the second problem in the second problem the signal is yn solution number two the signal is yn and it is equal to a I will first calculate the average power p it is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 summation n equal to minus n to n y n is equal to a therefore mod y n square is equal to a square so we have a square limit n tends to infinity a square by 2n plus 1 summation n equal to minus n to n 1 and this summation this summation is equal to 2n plus 1 when you add 1 from minus n to n you will have 2n plus 1 so limit n tends to infinity a square by 2n plus 1 multiplied with 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 1 will cancel out so the average power p is simply equal to a square now we will calculate the total energy e the total energy e it is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity a square or we can write or we can write a square summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 and when you add 1 from minus infinity to infinity you are going to get infinity so we have a square multiplied with infinity which is equal to infinity so the total energy is equal to infinite for signal y n and the power the average power is equal to a square a square is a finite value so the average power is finite and the total energy is infinite and this is the condition of power signal so signal yn signal yn is a power signal i hope you now understand how to deal with discrete time signals when we have to calculate the total energy and average power if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one